Hi, in this lesson, you'll learn how to create graphics using JavaScript. When creating a new piece of art, you begin with a blank surface called a canvas. When building graphics on a computer, you also start with a canvas, which is a blank area where you can add shapes, text, images, and other objects using JavaScript. Before learning about how to add objects to the canvas, let's learn how its coordinate system works. You can think of the canvas as a grid. The coordinate systems for pixels in a computer window is slightly different from the Cartesian coordinate system, which you commonly see in a math class. The x-axis is along the top of the grid. The y-axis goes down along the side of the grid. The x-coordinates increase as you move to the right horizontally, and the y-coordinates increase as you move down vertically. The origin of the canvas can be found at the top left corner of the canvas. A position on the grid is described using x and y coordinates. For this point, its x coordinate is 300 because it is 300 pixels to the right of the origin. The point's y coordinate is 200 because it is 200 pixels down from the origin. Therefore, the x and y coordinates for the point are 300 and 200. Let's learn how to add objects to the canvas. When adding objects, there are three steps you need to follow. First, we need to create an object. Secondly, we need to customize the object. And lastly, we need to add that object to the canvas. Let's try adding a circle to the canvas. First, we need to create a circle. To create a circle, we write the new keyword, the circle constructor, which is circle with a capital C followed by parentheses. And between the parentheses, we pass the dimensions of the shape. For a circle, we pass one value, which is the radius of the circle. And to be able to refer to the circle, we will store it in a variable. Next, we need to customize the circle. Two ways that we can customize an object is by changing its position and its color. To change its position, we write the name of the variable storing the shape, dot set position, followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write the x and y coordinate where the center of the circle should be anchored to the canvas. In this case, the x coordinate of the center of the circle is 200 and the y coordinate of the center of the circle is 100. To change the color, we write the name of the variable storing the shape dot set color followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write a string with the name of the color. In this case, the color of the circle will be set to orange. Lastly, we add the shape to the canvas. If you try to run the code with the code we have written so far, it still will not show up on the canvas. To add the shape to the canvas, we first must call the add function. Between the parentheses of the add function, we pass the variable name that is storing the shape. When we rerun the code this time, we see that the circle was added to the canvas. Now let's try to add a rectangle to the canvas. We need to repeat the same three steps. Create, customize, and add to canvas. First, we need to create a rectangle. To create a rectangle, we write the new keyword, the rectangle constructor, which is rectangle with a capital R followed by parentheses. And between the parentheses, we pass the dimensions of the shape. For a rectangle, we pass two arguments. First, we pass the width of the rectangle. And second, we pass the height of the rectangle. And to be able to refer to the rectangle, we will store it in a variable. Now let's customize its position and color. To change its position, we write the name of the variable storing the shape dot set position followed by parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write the x and y coordinate for the top left corner of the rectangle. Unlike a circle, a rectangle's anchor is located at the top left corner rather than at its center. In this case, the x coordinate of the top left corner of the rectangle is 100, and the y coordinate of the top left corner of the rectangle is also 100. Now to change the color, we write the name of the variable storing the shape dot set color followed by parentheses. And between the parentheses, we write a string with the name of the color. In this case, the color of the rectangle will be set to blue. Lastly, to add the blue rectangle to the canvas, we call the add function and pass the variable rect between the parentheses. Let's go explore JavaScript graphics some more.